Well, at just 19 years of age, Scott McLaughlin is set to pull off a trans-Tasman V8 double. The young Kiwi is on the verge of claiming the V8 Supercar Development Series, and tomorrow we'll look to wrap up the New Zealand V8 Super Tourer title. Sean Summerfield reports. Scott McLaughlin has just assumed the mantle of New Zealand's brightest young V8 talent and ready to fill the void left by Shane Van Gisbergen's shock retirement at just 23. McLaughlin's form this season has left no doubt as to the team being ready to step up. He was the top Kiwi finisher at Bathurst and goes into tomorrow's V8 Super Tour decider as series leader. You know, I'm 19 years old, I'm doing what I love and, um, you know, I'm winning races at the same time. So, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to drive as fast as I can and get as many fans as I can as possible along the way too. So, um, you know, it's a dream come true and, yeah, I'm pinching myself. Doing his best to ruin McLaughlin's party is Greg Murphy. After missing several races due to a back injury, the veteran is still in the hunt and keen to end a horror year. He still has no drive for next year's supercars, but his pace in the Kiwi Series has boosted his confidence. It's keeping me sane, um, you know, having to deal with what we've been dealing with in Australia, uh, to come, come over here and actually drive a car and be competitive and be able to work hard and, and get results from working hard is, is really enjoyable. But in qualifying today, McLaughlin left Murphy in his dust, claiming pole position for the 350km grand finale. Sean Summerfield, 3 News. Teenager Scott McLaughlin has beaten some of New Zealand's best to claim the V8 Super Tour Championship in Christchurch today. As Sean Summerfield reports, McLaughlin's job made easier after his main title rival suffered a huge crash before the first race. It's one of the fastest stretches of track in New Zealand and the last place you want to discover you've got no brakes. John McIntyre left Ruapuna's front straight at over 240 kilometres an hour. He was still doing close to 200 when he hit the wall. The safety down there is just not good enough. Uh, it didn't slow me down at all. I hit the tyre wall at 197 kilometres an hour. So very, very lucky. The, the strength of these cars is just, you know, is just amazing and it's done its job. McIntyre suffered a dislocated shoulder and fractured ribs. His title hopes in car, though, beyond repair. Yeah, it's massive. It's, um, Then just moments into the opening race, another title contender, Greg Murphy, came to grief on the same corner. Murphy and he's gone! And he's in the gravel! And that was just the start of a calamitous first lap. Oh, carnage, Manuel's cut front end damage, there is just, look at the dust! With Murph back in the garage, Scott McLaughlin and teammate John O'Webb were left to cruise to victory. And they are the 2012 Series champion. Scott McLaughlin takes the title. It's my first ever car race championship, so, um, you know, hopefully that's not the first and only one. Hopefully we've got a few more later down the track, but at the moment I'm, I'm stoked, absolutely stoked. A few beers on the table, I think, tonight. McLaughlin's focus now shifts to wrapping up the V8 Supercar Development Series in Sydney next weekend. Sean Summerfield, 3 News.